total misconception, like you know, is, is that people are quite capable of doing, you know, an all range of, of tasks. And if people say that people with ledger shouldn't work, that's wrong because we are got rights, you know. They can work as just as good as people and got no learning problems. And they put 110 percent into it as well. I work for uh, McDonald's, Sainsbury's and Derbyshire Health. He has fitted into the team, like, just walked in and fitted in straight away. He's quite bossy. I enjoy it. I'm on my dining area, so I tidy up, clean up, put things where this would be, like that. It gives them confidence. I like it. It's fun. Get a job, make friends, get, get a bit of money. Hello, good morning. Okay, I'll let you in. He'll answer the door, uh, ask people to sign in, uh, point them in the right direction. I take some messages down sometimes at the reception. And I also do lots of shredding. If they give me something to do, I do it. Yeah, so it's a godsend, really. Well, I also do the garden centre, and I do the till sometimes, sending the customers to the members of the public. Well, we tend to go out woods, and we tend to swim um, a lot of trails. We do a lot of hedge cutting. In the winter, we do a lot of tree felling. It's a very practical, work-based, work-orientated sort of uh, activities that we get up to, you know. Um, gives people a chance to very much work as a team, get to to know each other in that way, um, pick up a lot of practical skills, actual um, proper national, nationally recognised qualifications as well for using different machinery that we've got here. It's your skills important and work health and safety and working together as a team. I do all the cleaning, one of the tables, put the floor. Beth has a routine that she goes through to make sure everybody gets uh, their tea breaks on time and is supplied with what they ask for. Yeah, I do. I love it. Yeah, we really love it. Yeah. She's got a, a pivotal role here, and when she's not here, it's really noticeable. As in, uh, well, I thought you were doing tea. Who's doing tea? Which, you know, so it can become a bit of a scramble. Well, Beth in particular has gained so much in terms of self-esteem and confidence. And then I collect the I collect the equipment. I know the distribution, and I put it in. And she's just matured and blossomed and just being in work has done the world of good, really. Being part of her team, you know, because she is a part of the team, that's the thing. It's, um, and hopefully she, she enjoys that part of it. And it's good, to be, it's good to be out and in the world working, making your mark, making your way. Graham comes once a week. It can be anything from using a half moon and edging off. It can be literally trimming trees down. Graham is an absolute star at the park. He has really, really achieved an awful lot and is extremely, extremely proud of it. I've never had a bad Monday in four and a half years. I always have a laugh. I always have a smile. It sets my week off. I like working with Paul. He makes me laugh. Over the last few years, I've, I've actually seen a lot of self-confidence. He does work hard and it's a purpose. He gets up and he says, I'm going, going there. And Michelle does get involved in the preparation of food in the kitchen. I'm always seeing him when I'm in the kitchen. And he also assists when washing out. I do uh, set the tables for the, for the lunch clubs. I get the bus into Burton and I walk it. And I, and I help out in the kitchen afterwards, make drinks out in the kitchen. Interacting with other people, improving his skills, learning new skills, and also socialising with people from different ethnic backgrounds. And give people a chance, an opportunity, and I think it can work really well. Come and, uh, come and spend a day with us down here. Come out on site with us, just see what we achieve in a day, and uh, I think that might change people's minds. Oh, it made me feel so good.
time to get lost. <laughs> Why can't we live on his own and got me independence and go and do what I like? Um, having your own space, being able to invite your own friends. I came to my door and just in and out and do go where I want to and have a social life. Where I was before, I think they, I had to ask permission if I wanted any guests to come. So. I like, I like my own space, I like my own room. I'm happy on my own and going out and enjoying myself what to do. I like it, I get my own telly, I get my own store, have my own drinks and coffee like you're seeing. Oh yes, great coffee. I can watch my own stuff when I want to and I can go out when I want. Actually people could probably do a lot of things for themselves if they were given the opportunity. Cook dinner, make homemade Yorkshire puddings. Oh yeah, I do enjoy that. I think it's even more enriching and fulfilling if somebody can live independently and live their own life like anybody should be able to. I've been cooking, making this cake. It may take them longer to achieve that, but if you persevere and put things in place and build their confidence up, then they fly, they absolutely fly, and there's no stopping them. If I go running for the Buxton Athletics Club, and it's two times a week. He soon really got into the fitness, really enjoyed the running. He, he became much more confident, you know, that we were so much fitter, happier and healthier, Chris. I took part in the four-mile carnival this year, and I bet it 44 minutes, and also do the 5K as well. I, it keeps me fit and fun, but I enjoy it. I think it's great for Chris. It really boosts his confidence and increases friendship, and he just feels like a part, you, you know, he's just as welcome and respected as anybody else within the club. Uh, sometimes I like playing... Uh, FIFA, sometimes playing Neve Speed, sometimes, not all the time. My friends from high school, they support Man City, but I'm, all, I'm only one to support United. And it took Graham, I should say, a good ten years before he had the confidence to stand up anywhere near the karaoke machine. He is, obviously goes out socially a lot he loves there's nothing more important to graham than the pub i enjoy it very much it's relaxing i go out uh go shopping photographing and we go to pub it pub and uh go bowling He's tried a few sporty things like going to the gym and whatever. It's good for relaxation and it's good for combat. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. And, uh, I think Daniel and Mitchell get different things out of it, confidence wise. Go! No! I go out on a Friday night, socialise with people. I also like singing. Singing is something I do enjoy. I go on my bike, I like bike riding. I do a lot of things. What a load of rubbish. It's wrong, it's terrible. But people still think like that. Poor them. They've all got feelings, they've all got... You know what I mean? It's like... No, it's not right that. It's a basic human right and a basic human need to have relationships. And I have worked with people that have relationships, that have, that have been together for many years, that have got married, that live together. And it, there isn't any difference between anybody having relationships, whether you've got learning disability or not. I, I go out with my partner, I go walking with dog and all over the place. We're going camping sometime this year. I would like to find myself a lady friend. I used to have a boyfriend, but I'd rather be single because I like me doing my own thing. I just like being with each other, doing things together. Never been so happy. That's me and my girlfriend, Victoria. She's pretty. 
very, very nice. That's the, I think that's the Christmas party. I say, are you having a good time? And I say, you sit down and let me get you a drink. And I'll pay for her something, I'll pay for her. Me and Mitchell, we, 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 I met him at school. And then we went to college together. From day one, they just sort of clicked together. She was quite shy because she was a new girl and he was a quiet boy. And um, they were just inseparable. He's my boyfriend, we've been together about 12 years. Beth just says she loves him to bits and she wants to stay with him forever. And it's just lovely, really. Go out for meals, cinema sometimes, like that, you see. Well, what of telly? I can. We're, we, we all, we're all different, we're all different in a way, but we all got hearts, we all, we all do things you know, in that way and that. We just don't make assumptions about people. And for me personally, um, developing work experience programmes, working with people with learning disabilities, it's been one of the most rewarding things I've, I've done in my working life, I have to say. If you have the idea that, these, that anybody can't do something, then you need to change your, your attitude, I'm afraid, because everybody has a skill. Everybody has something different to give. I can. Step back, give people the opportunity, and they'll always surprise you. I can. Supporting people to participate fully in society brings benefits not only to the people who are getting the support, but it brings benefits to all of us. Um, it makes society richer and more colourful, and it's the right thing to do. I can. I think it's very sad that we're actually sitting here saying what should we be doing, that it is not already happening, is we should be all inclusive. We just need to integrate and accept people, accept people for who they are and everyone can give something to society. And the more people that are willing to accept that, what a better society we would live in. I can. Think more education. You have to give people a chance. Yes, I can. Can you get people to listen? I can. I can do it. I've done a lot of things which I never thought to do. But yes, I can do it. And I will do it. I can. You know, that's a problem, education. I think as long as we have people in the community doing what they're doing, it's a case of normalisation. It's like anything. People eventually realise that that is the norm and um, just get on with it. I can. I can!